Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can set up Docker on Linux or more specifically Arch Linux. If you are not using Arch, if you are using something like Debian based or a Red Hat based distribution, that's completely fine. You can still follow along. Just the first part, the installation part will be different. You just need to use a different package manager. You can also get started just by installing Docker Desktop. I think it's good to know how to use Docker directly from the CLI. So we're going to just use CLI. The commands I'm going to use in this video are going to be found on this blog. The link will be on the description. So let's get started. First you need to install Docker from the package manager. You can also update the system that is totally optional. So you can install Docker by using this command sudo pacman s docker. So let's do that. I will copy this. Let's install and it is done. Now we need to start and enable the Docker service. So you can just run sudo systemctl start docker and sudo systemctl enable docker. And now we can check the status. So sudo systemctl status docker and you can see it is active and running also it is enabled now we can check the docker version and see if docker is really installed or not by running docker dash dash version and you can see docker version 27.3.1 is installed now let's run a docker command like docker ps and we have an error permission denied while trying to connect we can fix this error by adding sudo to it and we don't have the error but it can be annoying to add sudo every single time so you can just add this command sudo user mod dash a capital G docker then the user so this will basically add your current user to the docker group now let's run the docker ps command again and we still have an error let's quit this terminal and reopen another terminal and let's type docker ps and as you can see we don't have that error and now we can just run our test container so docker run hello world and it says hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly so our docker setup is done now we can run whatever docker command you want so that's it for today. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can check out my other video where I have shown you how to install Postgres and set up on an arch based system or any Linux system. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.